Welcome to Cool Sword Blogcast. Dear Ron, Told you so. Seriously, dude, what did you expect? Well, whatever. You now have a choice. Keep fighting a losing battle and damage your political prospects for 2028, or bow out graciously and become Trump's biggest supporter. Don't look at me like that. I told you not to run against Trump. Get mad at the idiots that egged you on, not me. Look, polls are crap, but they shouldn't be double digits apart if you have any real chance. There shouldn't be any polls in where Trump is leading in Florida, and you should be seeing momentum in your rallies. Someone has to tell you the truth. You cannot win the nomination, and you cannot do yourself any favors trying now. All those other candidates are just in to make their names better known. Come on, this is election politics 101. It works for them to stay in long enough to get some coverage and then bow out. They're setting up for runs in 2028, which is what you should be doing. Look, you started with ample name recognition. There's no need to boost your recognition, so the primary race doesn't serve you that way. You appeal to the same base Trump does. If you had a different base, running now would make sense, but you don't. That base is not going to split, and it has already decided on Trump. They see you as a spoiler, not a candidate. That will end your prospects if you don't act quickly. Swallow your pride and bow out. Mend fences with the base by supporting Trump. Go home to Florida and make Disney regret have her messing with Florida's kids. Be the great governor you are. Do that, and you can successfully run in 2028. Oh, there's a lot of stuff you also need to do. Fire your campaign staff. They stink. I never thought you stood a chance against Trump, but your campaign has been run so poorly that it's hurting your chances against any future Republican. Frankly, you keep this up, and even if you miraculously won the nomination, Biden would legitimately eat your lunch. You cannot run this crappy a campaign and not be damaged by it. If you are dumb enough to stay in, at least dump your loser campaign strategists. Seriously, Republicans are complaining about how badly your campaign is run. This is a very, very bad thing. Get rid of the rubbish before you damage your reputation beyond repair. Make no mistake, you have damaged your reputation. Dude, you're white bread. That needs work, but it's not crippling unless you're up against a firebrand like Trump. That only ends in toast. Guess who's going to be the toast? Plus, Trump's base is stinging from the 2020 debacle. They will take those bad feelings out on candidates that try and mess up their guy's comeback. Let that idiot be Pence. Being a spoiler or even a spoiler wannabe is just going to alienate the very base you have got to win to get the nomination, let alone the presidency. Ron DeSantis, stop being stupid. You're only appealing to the never-Trump crowd. You cannot win like that. Forget Trump. His base is PO'd at you. It Staying in only makes it worse. But... If you want a shot at 2028, there is good news. That base isn't particularly fickle, and they can be forgiving. If you earn it. So earn it. Mend the fence. Make nice with Trump. You supported him once. Do it again. Lay off while he runs, and you can probably use that to bend his ear a little bit while he's back in the White House. At the very least, don't be that guy that knocks over the chess set. You can't win, so be gracious. Use the time and your position wisely to set yourself up for 2028. But whatever you do, stop playing spoiler. No one likes a bad loser.